Hi everyone, it's WGMSFCI here. How are you doing? Welcome back to Let's Play of Octopath Traveler. Last time round, we did the tournament arc. We did Ulrich's Chapter 2. And in this episode, we're going to do Hannah's Chapter 2. Because it's literally the only Chapter 2 left. <laughs> Story so far. And so Hannah stepped forward from Xanta. Her master, the closest thing to a father she had, had vanished while pursuing the beautiful fiend Dreadeye, and the Huntress had vowed to find him and bring him home. The direwolf Hagen, Xanta's ever faithful companion, had to return to their village, but alone. It's enough to make Hannah fear the worst. In the first and only letter he wrote before disappearing, Zanta mentioned the town of Stoneguard. And so, Hannah followed her master to the Highlands. But what of Eel? Hmm. Stoneguard. So this is where Master said he was Sojourn. Sojourn? Well, Hagen, does I proceed to send? Something about this place confusive and troubled me, but no matter. Thou hast done well to bring us here. Now it's my turn to leave the hunt. You might have noticed with uh, with Hannah that I'm not really like sort of saying word for word what she says because like a lot of her speech is very old Shakespearean and. Um, yeah, I'm not about doing that. I'm just going to translate most of it. Uh, but this is a large, sprawling settlement, not like our forest home. Just in case you're wondering. What is it, Lind? <laughs> no, no, child. I do this not fear. Well, that's the people. Someone is bound to know Master. <laughs> Lind is adorable. Well. I'm glad thou agreest. Now, where to begin the hunt, the search? Like, beginning, like, come on. <laughs> the ale house, of course. If Master's known anywhere in this town, it would be there. Welcome. What can I do for you, lassie? Greetings. Follow with that broth of thy wist, and answer me a question. Oh. The broth is easy enough, but as for answers, you'll have to ask a question before I can tell you if I have any. So then... Know that I have a hunter named Zanta. I believe he's adjourned here some moons ago. Hmm. Aye, I know him, but I'd set him around for a spell now. Early taking a visit to a woman named Natalia. She got a house at the edge of town. So then... Natalia. This name is unfamiliar to me. I thank thee, landlord. <laughs> you don't mind me prying, lassie. You don't happen to be as primus, do you? Yes. I am. Ah. I knew it. Used to talk about you all the time, he did. When he was in his cups. Apprentice, he's nothing like him, strict and straight as a darrow. The type of foolishness and folly, he'd say. Since you should mention his name, I'd reckon you was one of the same. What if you match his description at all? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? A little bit of flirting going on there, barkeep? Oh. What is it, Hagen? <laughs> And he's gone. Damn. Something has happened. Come, girl. We must follow him. Now, just adding EN to the ends of words doesn't make things right. I'm sorry. This bird is ill. Why ever did Hagen react in such matter? That's a stupid question. 
If I may put it, a hagen is a species known as the dire wolf, yes? The said that a wolf sends the smell as 100 million more, times more sensitive that, than that of man. I'm on wolves, dire wolves have no sensitive noses at all. Hmm. I suppose that when he entered the city, he was overwhelmed by the smells of common, smell common to such a bustling center of activity. And yet, of all those odors, he'd be most sensitive to those with he is most familiar with, to wit. Has a uh, point. Alright, it's getting there. To it, he detected a certain scent. Namely, the scent belonging to. Master, of course. Then I must make haste. Ah, er, yes, precisely. I should not lose heart. I'll listen to all my lectures after our job is done. For Cyrus, he just wants to lecture people. You manji beast, go on, bugger off! Grrr. At your service. My dearest Italian, what a delightful coincidence. Fancy we're running to each other here. How are you? I fancied I, I was just uh, returning from the market. It is an honor. Oh, what a burden you're shouldering, my dear. You must allow me to deliver it for you. That is, I'll have my man here do it naturally. <laughs> really? Nay. I am honoured, sir, but you needn't. <laughs> Milly of the air insist. I cannot forget myself if you're just straight a muscle. Oh dear. Hmm. Paul my honour, his worship never gets up, does he? Right. Her lass has caught the eye of the wrong sort, find to happen with her fair looks turn on every man's head. Not so. He's a wolf draped in silks. And a soldier is. Don't fall by the husbands and fathers. Oh. They're not refusing him once he's got the scent. Remember the miller's daughter? Oh, ho! So that's it, Hagen. I know this woman are trying to help her. Why is Kreutzer in our art? So, I see if she's in trouble. And so that'll scare her off the shoulder. So then... Is that right, Hagen? Grr. Understood. Then let me help. Grr. Hmm. Where first the beast to appear before him, that soldier would flee. Can't have sense for which no one could be blamed. Yeah, we're literally going to set beasts on him. Sheer nerve for that man. I can say that again. Sir Seth warned her that still wear clear of self uttered men. I have little experience with men folk, aside from my master, of course. But that is experience of the bottom of the prey. Tell me of their ways. I suppose I know a thing or two. Alright, there are two kinds of men in this world. Should I really be reading this conversation? Those who devote themselves to the trade or calling, and spare little fault for the fairer sex. And there was uh, no time at all for work, but plenty for pleasure. If that is my choice, I shall pick neither. Why, Hannah, it would seem you don't need my counsel after all. I, 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 do I, I feel slightly called out, because I guess I'm kind of the second option at this stage of my life, but uh, I don't have a lot of pleasure things apart from video games, so I, um, I'm trying to defend myself, I'm just digging a hole, so uh, I'll stop. Anyway, we're going to provoke this guy, I'm going to set beasts on him, because that's what we do here. Also, prepare for monsters! No, you never are, are you? Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. Come in, if thou darest. <laughs> yeah, so this guy is weak to, um... Fears. And believe it, uh, you cannot use your. Here's the problem with provoke. You cannot use your other skills. You have to use summon beast. <laughs> you, you can use your items, but it's just. Come in, if thou dance. <laughs> Come 
summoned, if thou dost. <laughs> So, okay, it's the same Linda bunch. Because it's the only thing that's sort of effective against them. What next? Letting my arrow fly in true. Because yeah, Linda's the only one you can use infinite amount of times. So this is the slight problem with uh, with uh, Hannah. Like at least with uh, with Albert, you can use his skills and abilities, but with Hannah, you cannot. You can only use someone base, and you can use your items, but that's it. Yeah, so these battles take uh, quite a long time. And unfortunately you don't get really any aspect of how close he is to die, because you can't target him for an attack. I might need to heal again. If only I had that skill that restores your HP per turn instead of SP. But that's a scholar skill. Letting my arrow fly in true. Coming if thou dost. I honor you, my queen. There we go. It took significantly a long time. Oh. Yeah, a monster in the middle of time? <laughs> hey, where are you going? I paid good money for you. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Hagen? Where have you been? You left so sudden and the tiny to neither of you since. Where's your master Hagen? Where's Santa? Greetings. That must be Natalia. I need to speak with thee. Oh. Oh, and who might you be? Greetings. I'm Santa's apprentice. I travel here from the dark wood. You don't say. His friend is, she say. Then you must be Hannah. I've heard tell of you. Mm -hmm. So much so spoke of me. Aye. 
I said you were finding hun young hunters and learning so fast, his master, no matter his hand visit teaching. <sighs> to raise others while blending himself. That sounds like master. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> he's a good man, but Garlis is a beat. So then... Garlis, yes. Petrius also with a weakness of wine and dice. And yet he is honest and noble. And I'll love a bow of the best of them. Tis true. Ah, you speak the truth there. Swear is old rascal. If Asmus, if I comes here, he can't be far. Grr. The truth is... I can return to our village alone. I've come here to search for Master. Uh, what? Good God, did something happen to the man? I was hoping I could help you answer that. Huh. I fear I may not much for your help, but I'm happy to tell you all I know. Forgive me. Without that home, let me carry you some of that. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Huh. Well, there's more I could tell you. As a river is the end night for the forest out of the hills yonder. And nothing. A chance. When was this? Tis true. Three months, I'd say, give or take. He disappeared before, only to show up all of a sudden a few days later. But this time it would be to see him, but the days turned to weeks, the weeks turned to. I beg thee, forgive my bluntness, but how did I notice him? <sighs> my husband died not so long ago. Santa was a friend of his. My husband, you see, was a soldier in service to the realm. They met when hunting monsters and, well, they shared a love of hunting and eel. They had much to talk about down at the eel house. Then my husband grew sick and... At the funeral, Zanta started calling from time to time. Appreciate the company, truth be told. Understood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I embarrassing you, dear? I suppose he's like a father to you. Hmm. He was my teacher, but... I have no kin. I was alone in the world. Master took me in, cared for me, used me as a hunter. Perhaps he only did so because he wanted to pass on his knowledge and the hunting lore that he had learned from his own ancestors. So? But yes, to me. He's like the father I never had. Oh? You asked me about it. Word. Sick can be a gold slow, but the word? Mm. I am. Find Ian if I were nine help. By now, just take my leave. I'm going to the forest, though it's surely the chill's cold by now. Well, well. Do you care to yourself, my dear? Yes. I will. May I ask one more favor? When I next see them, just does not tell do not tell him what I said today. Oh. You mean about him being like a father and all? I don't know what the harm is. <sighs> he would never let me live it down. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt this is true now that you mention it. He's just a sort of a tease of her girl who'll speak in her heart. Alright, I'll say a little secret then. <laughs> Thank me. Um, I think I have, yeah, I'm actually going to equip that to you. So Master's aunt is like a father to you. You know, I was thinking about my own father the other day. And? He got so angry at me, I decided to run away from home. 
It's some sugar for the storage, you see. I don't see why that was so bad. We had plenty after all. Anyway, the next day I came slightly back, my belly rumbling. Sure enough, Pa was waiting for me with a big bowl of sugar. She said it was my dinner. You can bet I beg for a Mrs. Vigessence then. <laughs> Your father sounded like a good man. You're worried, aren't you? About Master Zanta, I mean. Well, you shouldn't be. Turn it without. It'll turn around all right at the end. Just you see. Thanks for you to be Tressa. See, that's why Tressa's just a good girl. Tressa's a good girl. Possibly best girl? Oh, a very tough competition with Primrose. Right there. <laughs> And Tana. And Ophelia. Listen. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> uh, up and... No. Fair and all, but... Do I not have... I do have an eye for eye. So I for an eye in the second story actually stack. Because it is kind of as a regular attack. So technically if you counter attack, you technically counter attack twice. So it's actually a pretty good combo. So we're going to the Spectre Wood Path. This is not recent. The length of the shit's going on, I'd say one, two months, moons ago. Grr. So then. Remember the side of this place? Is this already left then? Grr. <laughs> Shh. I didn't mean it like that, little one. Dias hastened all the way to the village to help. That is not betray I'm hacking. Grr. Hmm? So I'll turn back and search for another path. There's no way past this rough side, that much is certain. Right. Listen, my girl. Hunting is about sticking arrows into a monster's hide. Sometimes the land sets it itself against thee, and nature herself pick the old sire that she is. <laughs> but I remember to stop and take in the air. Look around thee. Even if nature is thy foe, that doesn't mean I'll fight her. Just so. Instead, turn the land on in thy favour. Creatures of forest must find a way past. Let's search for their trail. This bird is ill. Hagen, Lind, to my side. Oh. We've got Hagen as a monster as well. That that would be a pretty cool addition. Hmm. What is it? Yeah, so now we have to provoke a mysterious wood creature. Don't ask. Or do you? Come in there, if it's 
beest thy will. Let in the hunt begin it. Missed me, let in the hunt begin it. Let in the hunt begin it. Let in my hold him back nothing. If thou darest. I will not be letting my arrow fly in true. What next? Yeah, so the thing about this fight is that he always switches his weaknesses, but he's always weak to sword. So So, unfortunately, I were poisoned. Um, I'm actually going to restore that. This way. Letting my arrow fly in true. <laughs> Begin. <laughs> Let him up. Hold him back. Nothing. Come in, if thou darest. <laughs> I don't have very much in the way of uh this one has herbs. The hunt ends. There we go. Know where to go next? Yeah, so I'm not a lot of fight. Impressive. But I guess I'll have to show us the home in the woods. Find speed of my training. My master have taught me well. I hear there's no fiend he can he can slay. Lazard or he has to fight Peter, but but when you venture from the tiny, is easily tempted by the alehouse and gives a chance. He lacked with anything resembling discipline. Sounds to me you're being a bit harsh on him. Harsh, however so. Even the best of men fall prey to the temptations of the city. So it's truly more fierce than the deepest of the forests.
So yeah, um, those skills are really helpful for uh, when you're... When you're fighting on your own, because at least you're at least physically attacking, even if it is with bows. It's at least a physical attack. And I guess the reason that's the reason why I provoke I don't like provoke over challenge, because at least with challenge you can control a, 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 lot, a lot more rather than uh, provoke which you can't. Because Lind does one of two attacks and it's random, um, and most other ones just have one attack, but you can only summon them a certain number of times, and then they get released. So uh, yeah. Something to bear in mind about that, <laughs> for sure. I'm not sure what to check. See if I, uh. Oh, I'm nowhere near. Oh, that's right, I was going to, uh, change Fairy on because his, uh, party chat was over. That's what I was going to do. I keep forgetting that it's not this way, it's the other way. See, so yeah, now this guy gone, you just can go through here. Welcome to the Spectre Woods. Much spit, all the spit, just all of it. Yeah, this chest is kind of tricky to get because it's, it's sort of up there. I believe this is Reese's favorite boss.
I see. I thought, I thought it was fought here. But it's not beast versus beast. The destruction can lie only on one side of the field. Here. The works are at risk. Yes, next made by steel weapons. Bit of footprints too. Signs of man. Mm. Exclamation point. This flitch thing. There's no mistaking it. This is one of Master's arrows. He is um, he is among those who fought here. Was his foe this red eye? The trail continued further into the woods. We must follow it. Greeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I already have a bite on. So put it on again. Letting my arrow holding back nothing. Of action. Yeah, about that. <laughs> so now he changes his weakness to uh, spears, which is very interesting because, of course, uh, we could have used that with um, uh, no. eyes and spears. Um, I'm not sure if they spearhead. He's still weak to uh, axe, I believe. Yes, he is. It's also weak to dagger now. Uh, Let me heal you. The battle is truly joy. I'll do my best. Let your wounds be healed. Letting my arrow fly in true. Um, yeah, I'm actually give nice. SP to uh, Ulbrich here. Because he's quite low. Um, I can actually just attack. No. Use a bite. What is the logical course of action? Firestorm. Letting my arrow fly in true. He got struck. My turn now. And an inspiring tom for Cyrus. And the thing is, the fun fact, whenever uh, an enemy is broken, you don't have to use a weakness to continue doing good damage. You can do any, any type of damage. Thou didst fight with courage. Look how close Ulbrich gets to the next level. That's sad. Oh well. A formidable beast. But this a formidable was the red eye that Master sought. Which meaneth our true quarry lieth deeper within the forest. But frozen, petrified in stone, what unholy thing happened here? <laughs> Another of Master's arrows. His fate befall him even as he drew his bow? There is a note tied to the shaft.
to whomever readest this. Like as not, thou foundest this next to a stone figure. That me, the hunter, Zanta, in the flesh, so to speak. <laughs> Still making jokes even though he's dying. To hunt in the beast they call him Red Eye. A beast that hath left me in this unfortunate state. Among Red Eye's formidable powers is the ability to petrify. Already my feet have turned to solid rock. And unfortunately, this is not Final Fantasy, so we don't have soft or super soft. I have but a short time to pen this message before the curse overtaketh me completely. Why would you add an Eddie to pen? Like, come on. In There's old English and old English. There is a seer by the name of Susanna. Hey, remember Souls though? It is a faint hope, but the only one that remaineth to me. This beast cannot be allowed to run in a mock. It is far too dangerous, too savage. Pray go with me, not for my sake, but for the innocents who dieth if this creature is not put him down. Master. And Honnet, if thou art reading this, pray forgive us this old man for not keeping that promise. The old fool. Even as he was turning to stone. So thou wilt stay him and watchest over him. That is good. I will seek out this seer Susanna. And pray she knoweth a way to break in the curse. <laughs> like how Lyndon ta and Tagan is like, bye, bye. <laughs> I should first return to Natalia and tell her what we have found. <sighs> Your master is an impressive man. It's in our most trying moments that our true character is revealed. The master refused to yield, even if his limbs turned to solid stone. He refused the wits to know what must be done at such a time, and fear still if the composure to act upon it. With his courage, he has still in you the gift of hope. If that is not greatness, then I don't know what is. Truth be told, I have never heard such praise bestowed upon him. I look forward to the day that the three of us can sit down and share a drink. Uh, best not. I should know he turned up the most tedious when me started flowing. And those tall tales of the great beasts he had hunted, each repeated thrice for good measure. I see. Perhaps just sip and barley tea then. Tea hype! Tea hype. <laughs> Very much tea hype. That fight wasn't too bad. I was expecting that fight to be a lot worse than it was, but I, I knew his weaknesses, so I was like, this is how you do this fight. The only time I was sort of in danger was whenever you use that consumed life, but the, even then. Yeah, 
even then it was like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, there you are, dear. Well, did you find him? Greetings. We did, however. Uh, what? The base turned into stone? Mm. If his letter speaks true, then yes. I do not know how we can bring him about back, but I found a way. I began preparing to see her called Susanna. <sighs> In hunting, I must never abandon the chase. Master taught me this. If I truly am to call myself his apprentice, I must see this hunt through to the very end. Oh? Indeed. Is true. <laughs> it's a queer thing. Hmm? What is? Hmm. You and Zanta are different in so many ways, yet by the time it is, your eyes glitter in the same way. You both have the same steel inside you when set your mind to something. Truly. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Aye, reckon it is. Almost like father and daughter, you might say. Oh? Now, who could that be? If you'll excuse me. Hmm? Someone I know is girl? Indeed. Thought I recognize that mule. But. Eliza, what are you doing here? It's like this. We had no word from Santa for weeks. I came to find him. In his most recent missive, he said he was coming to this time to shoot up the beast. I see. Twas the last I'd heard from him as well. <sighs> Whatever has happened here, you must tell me all you know. God's a mercy for a hundred times as skilled to succumb. I would hear all thou knowest about this red eye. I fear I know very little, nothing even. The Knights Ardant simply bid me hire Zanta. They told me nothing more. But it is clear they must have known the danger. Then why send one man to face the monster alone? Not any man. to no one else. On the hunt, no one could match his speed, his guile. If they had sent a regiment with him, he would have squandered his strength just to... It is true. Our village wanteth not for skilled hunters, but even the best of them would only get him in his way. The knight's judgment was correct. But even so... It leaves a bad taste in your mouth, yes. It is the same for me. 
By sending one man alone, we declared to the world our own weakness. Now it falls to me to hunt Red Eye in Zanta's stead. Hunt it. You have another duty. You must go and find the seer. Yes. It was Master's last command, before the curse overtook him. I will find the means to free him of it. I must. Zanta's lucky to have such capable friends. My skill in the hunt is hardly the measure of his. But he needs me, and I will do what I can. Countless times, Zanta has lent me his strength and courage. Now it is time to give up mine. I shall send word if I learn more of this Red Eye. Thank thee. Fear in not. We will save him, Master. I've heard much of this, Eliza. Ah, indeed. The Knights of Dance are servants of thy order, yes? Indeed. She is well respected by the Church, and known as one of the most loyal servants. That's a terrible way she maintains of this friendship with my master. She honours him with her company, yet she is not but a source of vexation and worry. She is a noble and beautiful woman. Would I be more, could be more like that? I know what you mean. She is role model to us all. Truly, even a beauty such as thyself. What? How oh, come now? You're more beautiful than any of us. Uh, uh. We need to spend more time together. What say this though? I like that very much, Hannah. Ah. Aww. They're just adorable. All of the characters are adorable. Hanit, wait. Natalia? I'm so glad I caught you. Here, this is for your journey. There was no need for thee to... It's a trifle, compared to what you and Eliza are doing. Zonta was a good friend to me, after my husband passed away and all. Now I can't go fight no monsters like you two. Yes, but... So the least I can do is help you on your journey. Let me do that much at least. Of course. Thank thee for the gift. And, uh... One more thing. Promise me you won't do anything foolish now, will ya? Even for Zanta's sake. I will be cautious. After all, I'll be of no use to Master if I get myself killed. Exactly. Good luck to you, Hornet. Thank thee. I promise that I will return and master with me.
And last time at least, Stone Guard heard you quest to see a Santa from the Petrified Fiat. She must see find a seer Susanna. Me and the Santa's last message. So it be a glimmer, it is hope nonetheless. And so she sets out for the Frostlands in the village of Stillsnow. It seemed that her journey had still just begun. Hey, Hannah. Hunting ain't the easy life, is it? I'm still but apprentice and not a hunter tree. Tell me, is your master a good man? Mine is. Well, he's not my master per se, just someone I look to up to more than anyone. Haven't met them in years, still. If I knew he was in danger, even vicious fiends could stop me from rushing to his aid. Sorry, I'm just saying, I think I know how you feel is all. Anyway, just remember I'm here to fix up any wounds you suffer in the way. So you don't have to hold anything back in your quest to save him. Hmm? What's the matter? I was merely waiting for my turn to speak. And now it has come allowed me to thank thee from the bottom of my heart. Ah. How did it? It's also adorable. Alright, so that is, I think that's all of chapter 2 is done. Um, and as you can see, the level, recommended levels for chapter 3 are like 32 to like 40, I think. Yeah, 32 to 40. So, um, there will be a little bit of grinding in between episodes. Just, just a little bit. Um, I think, yeah, Ulrich's is actually 32. Is anyone else 32? I think Elfin's 32 as well, yeah. So Ulbrich and Elfin are 32, so I guess we'll do... What we do? Oh, I like Ulbrich's chapter 3. Um, we'll start off with that then, I think, because I love Ulbrich's chapter 3 um, for what happens. So yeah, we'll do that next time. So yeah, next time on Octopath Traveler, we'll do we'll start chapter 3 stories. So, with all that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give a comment, don't forget to give a like, don't forget to comment, become part of my community. Where's my fun of all? So of course, see you again.